You guys ever sublimate something and it's a little bit foggy? It's like real crisp. Real crisp. I think that's the difference when I, um... <laughs> guys, why am I so excited? <laughs> It does not take a lot to get me excited, does it? But that thing is not going anywhere. That name tag's not moving anywhere. Boom. Wait a minute. Just like that. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. Eight, 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 productions. Just like that. Like, comment, subscribe. Just like that. Boom. Wait a minute. Just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today. It's your boy, Alan Wade, back again with another video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And today I'm excited because I'm giving you guys another opportunity. I got another opportunity for you guys to make some more money with a small, tiny item that you can use to place into your e-stores to diversify and to help spread the list of items that you sell, something different, something small, something that doesn't cost a lot. And you can get into it really easy, especially, especially if you do sublimation. Guys, and what am I talking about? Boom! Name tags. Down in the comments down below. List five businesses that use name tags. I'm doing that. I want everybody to participate because I want you guys to list businesses so different people that might want to buy these and, and, and use them to sell them in their business can have an idea of who they can sell to. So we got to all participate in this. So list each person lists five businesses that utilizes name tags. I'll tell you my five right now. Um, banks. Uh, uh, travel places like Greyhound, uh, Amtrak, they used to have name tags there, um, uh, bus companies, I guess that's travel places, that's two, um, uh, conventions, um, professional meeting events, um, sometimes when you come into a building or something, right. but anyway, yeah, uh, kind of like a stretch there, kind of difficult for me to do that on the fly, but um, you guys get more time to think about it. Five places that uses name tags down in the description below, or nurse, nurse facilities, medical facilities, stuff like that. But guys, let's take a look at these name tags and see what they look like. Heat Transfer House links to buy your name tags down below. Use my Heat Transfer House links and just Google, and when you're on Heat Transfer House, just type in name tags and they'll, they should come up. Alright, so uh, let's check them out. Let's open one of these bad boys up and see what we get in box when we get them from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Organize them in a way that you can still see them on the table there. Alright, so, okay, they come in packs like this. That's cool. And let's open one up and see what is inside of one of these name tags. You guys hear me? Alright, so you get a name tag that you can sublimate onto. Got the back like that, front like that, cool. And then you get, okay, I guess this sticks onto the name tag and this goes onto you. All right, so after you're done sublimating onto it, you take the 3M tape off right here, you stick it on the back, right? And then you put this on the inside of your shirt and then boom, click right there, just like that. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. If this thing were ready to go right now, and this was stuck to this, you would put it in the back of your shirt, and then, oh, uh, alright, like that, and it would just stick, and this would be stuck to that with the 3M tape, alright, so, but it's not ready to go, we're going to sublimate onto it, but it will go like somewhere around here or something like that, you know. Who wants to put something on the name tag? I do. I want to put something on a name tag. Let's do it. Like, comment, subscribe. All right, y'all. So we are about to jump into Creator Studio real fast. Uh, let me start a screen recording for you guys so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And I want to talk to you guys real fast about something. You guys know I always got to lecture you guys like you my kids or something, right? Um, guys. What I want to talk to you guys about is one, two, three. That's how I sync my screen up with, with the audio, by the way. I sync it up with the clap noise. Um, so what I want to talk to you guys is I'm in Creator Studio. I'm just going to hit Creator Studio right here. 
is staying ready so you don't have to get ready. All right. So I see, and I see a lot of people say you don't need a a a, a Sawgrass SG1000 or Sawgrass SG500 in order to sublimate. You can convert a, this type of printer or that type of printer. That is a hundred percent true. You can convert this type of printer or that type of printer. The reason why I use the Sawgrass SG500 and SG1000 is because it's a system. Um, you pay, you might pay a little bit of extra money up front, but it's a system. It's already made to do the sublimation. Whereas though, if you guys get a printer to convert, you're going to have to get that printer. You're going to have to do all this research to figure out how to convert it, right? Which is, I think you just, in, in the eco tanks, I think you just drop sublimation ink in. Um, and I think it's, I think it's that simple. I'm not sure. But then, when it's time to sublimate, you got to find the color profiles that work and all this other stuff and, and, and to, tweak the settings. And then I'm starting to see in the forums people have problems. And when you have a problem, you got to search around the other forums. There's no customer service to help you out because those printers are not meant to be sublimation printers. And I'm not telling you guys what to do because at the end of the day, you guys know I preach whatever works for your business. Do that at least you're you're up and running and you're going and you're making money that's all that matters it doesn't matter what you use it doesn't matter if you use a, a Epsom it doesn't matter if you use a can it doesn't matter if you use a sawgrass it doesn't matter as long as you're up and running and you're moving in the right direction growing your business that's all that matters but I'm telling you guys what I use and what I recommend and why I recommend it is because it's a system when when you want to start your business right you want to start and and you want to have systems in place so that it simplifies the process for you so you can concentrate on your business. Anybody who doesn't understand that needs to really reevaluate the business. I don't have time to hunt around in forums to try to figure out how to get my 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 uh Epson printer to work or what color profile to use and this and that. And I don't have time for all that. And if I have a problem then uh, if I got a problem with that, I contact Sawgrass, tell them what the problem I'm having, they send me a part in the mail or whatever whatever and it's, it's a system. I pay for systems, all right? So I, I don't like half, half, you know, have ass do stuff and like patches and glue and tape and figure out how to convert this and how to make that do that when it's not meant to do that. And I don't got time for that. I, I'm trying to worry about my business. I'm trying to grow my business. So that's the reason why I recommend these systems. Like, you know, I'm, you don't see me trying to convert a regular machine into a sewing machine, into an embroider machine or anything like that. Because it just doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway. Back Creative Studio. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to start creating and we can start creating using our, let's go to our favorite, we're going to pick a 8.5 uh, by 11 size piece of paper and what you guys want to do is you guys want to, we want to get the right size of the actual name tag. So what size are the name tags? Let's go to Heat Transfer Warehouse down uh, the website. And let's find out. Heat Transport House. Let's look up name tag. See if it comes up. Here we go. Name tag. Look at that. We got luggage racks. We got luggage tags. We got name badges. Let's click on the name badge right here. Pop up right there. Let's see what size they are. What size is this thing? This is three three inches by 1.2 inch. Three inches wide by 1.25 inches uh tall all right so uh in creator studio let's try to do this with no photoshop no nothing all right so what are we going to do how are we going to do this i'm going to click on creative studio for the text that are available and i'm just going to pick a, a regular type of text let me see this looks pretty good so i click on it and I come over here and I write a dub pro productions All right and then underneath I want to write Alan Wade but I gotta be careful of how wide this is let me put it in inches and we said it the size of this is three inches wide so we want to make it smaller than three inches wide our text so yeah 
I want to make this in this instance real small so I'm gonna make it this like this right and then underneath that I want to put a new line of text Alan Wade I'm not sure if I can do this and then make this bigger and that part smaller no I can't so let me just uh, can I undo is there an undo feature all right boom there is an undo feature. All right, so now I got this text right here, right? And how do I make another line of text? Let's see. Create a studio text. Uh, and let me come back to this. Oh, a new line of text. Okay, now I can go Alan Wade. All right. So I'm going to put that under here. That's my name. Right, and I want to make sure that this and this is let me see this the height again. The height is 1.5 inches, and this is this should be the right size, I'm guessing. All right, I want some design elements, so uh, I want to kind of figure out how to put some design elements underneath. Alright guys, now I'm clicking on gas. I think I'm on to something here. Okay, so I got my shape selected. Um, and what I'm trying to do is show you guys that you can do some type of basic work in Creative Studio if you don't have a Photoshop or if you're not that savvy. So what I did was I went and I, I, I inserted under shapes. I went all the way down to, what's that, elements. I went all the way down to shapes. I bought in a circle. I'm bringing another one for you guys. Scaled it all the way down. Move this out of the way. Right? Scale it all the way down. After you make it smaller, you're gonna you can select the objects that you want to adjust. So I'm gonna select this circle. As you as you select the different objects, um, it highlights it. So that's easy. So I'm gonna select this circle and go to color pick fill color right here. And as you drag this circle around, you see that the color changes on this specific object that you selected. All right, so now that we have this one selected, um, we actually have to go up here and select it. Let me X that out, go up here and select it, All right? And then color fill, and we go and we put this in the area that we want it to be, and then we pick from that color area. All right, just doing some, some basic designs right here, and then we go over here, and we got that in the background, and then we go over here, and we got this in the background. So now we have some type of design element for our name tag, so it's just not plain Jane simple, right? So uh, I just wanted to show you guys that real fast. Why don't we bring in another circle? Um, let me undo that. Bring in another circle right here. You could even bring in another shape if you want to. But see how, wait, let me undo that. See how it seems like this circle is, no it doesn't. I was gonna say, what I wanna show you guys, you can bring your elements forward and backwards. See how I'm, I got this circle selected? I can bring it forward, bring it forward, bring it forward. I gotta have it selected first, bring it forward. And it will eventually, end up at the top at the top layer at least it's supposed to I don't know maybe it takes a little while with this software but it's okay we're just gonna leave that alone but uh, I'm gonna grab another circle real fast bring one in shrink it down again or you can hit the scale button to scale it down like that and then I'm gonna go hit the color picker again and I'm gonna change it to even a different color we're going to try to go like a, a, a brownish, oh, there's a red right there, we can do that, All right, boom, and we'll scale it down even more to make it nice and small, so we can fill up that area right there, and boom, now we got something with some colors, and we are ready to send this little small thing to print, right, so you could do something like that, you could do squares, you could, or you could just do all blank with just a name tag, right, um, 
I'm thinking that this one is a little bit too dark because you want the you want the actual color. You want to be actually have the thing legible. So boom, and the red is kind of um, dark too. So that, why don't we change that one also to a lighter color? So that the uh, the point of this is you want the text to be legible. All right. So why don't we do something like that? All right, just for something that makes more sense. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to defeat the purpose of what we're trying to do here. We're trying to make the name tag legible. So why don't I just bring that down like that? Attractive colors. All right. Boom. Bring this over right here. And we are cooking on gas. So we're going to send this thing to print right here. Now, just a small design. I'm doing this just for you guys to demonstrate to you guys how this works, how you use it in a practical sense. So let's uh, print. All right. A little small tiny thing on a big old piece of paper. We're going to select our SG500, of course. And then it's going to be a train number one. Um, letter size. Uh, polyester text print R. You got to make sure vivid. You got to make sure that on tray number one you have eight and a half by eleven selected by the way guys. Alright and then you're going to send it to print. And then we're going to wait for print manager to pop up in the front and you want to make sure you got print manager selected. You got the six cent to Q message. Boom click on print manager. Ink is low. It's telling me the ink is low. But guys even though ink is low guess what? Boom! We got ink right here, guys. We got ink right here, but I'm not going to change my ink out until it's absolutely, positively no more ink left in there. This bottom part right here is cut off of my circle, which is interesting. I don't know why it's cut off, and, hmm. I don't know. I'm just going to send it to print, though. We'll, we'll deal with that another time. Let's send this design to print. And you see how low our print cartridges are right there. Cyan and magenta, we're good to go though, doesn't matter. There we go. Already we got our design printed out nice and fast, nice and easy. It's reversed and flipped horizontal. Let me focus so you guys can check that out. Nice and crisp, guys. Alright, so we're just going to cut that out and we're about to sublimate that onto one of our name tags, guys. Let's do it. Alright guys, so that was relatively easy. I'd say the hardest part was navigating a software that we're not typically used to using. I'm just going to cut this just like this. Just like that. Nothing fancy. Alright, nothing. Just going to cut that out just like this. Wasting sublimation paper. It's all good though. We got, we got you. We got you. Got you covered. Alright, and you want to make sure you place that right there. On the center of the name tag. I'm just going to have to cut off some more access right here guys so we can get that twaculating on a twaculation. Alright, so we got about what we need for our name tag. Alright, now we want this to be straight so we're just going to place it as straight as possible. Alright, there we go. Place this down like so. I can actually show you better than I can tell you. I'm lining the top up with the name so that way I know it's going to be straight. Or you can line the bottom up and then I just drop that on there like that. And then I can come with my heat tape, right? With my heat tape and I can just tape it on there and we're ready to sublimate. Alright, so I just take a piece of heat tape like this. Bam, bam. You don't even need two pieces. You just need one piece. Piece of heat tape. Bam, bam. And actually, let me do this. Why don't I do this? Drop the heat tape. Drop it like that. Then I'll line it up. Right? Then you line it up. Boom, boom. The key is to get a little system going. Line it up. Drop that down. All right, you gotta also pay attention to where you want it to be. Where do you want your text to be? Do you want it to be at the top, at the bottom, in the middle? Right, placement is everything. Placement matters, guys. I'm trying to get that straight. Then you get that. Got that tape like that. Once that's taped like that, 
Again, you're looking at it. I'm just looking at it, making sure it's straight. All right, is that straight? That's straight right there. Straight like that. And then you tape it, and we're ready to sublimate. That's it, we're ready to sublimate. And I can look through it, and I can see my text right here. I can see exactly, I can see through and see where it's gonna fall. You could even drape it over the edges if you want to, but I'm just gonna sublimate that. And we're going to see how it turns out. Let's go over to our Wallapress Pro. We are over here at our Wallapress. We're just going to power this bad boy on and set this thing up, guys. Let's check it out. Let's push that button right there. Heat Transfer House recommends 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Let's go ahead and, it's in Celsius. Let's click the button once. Put it in Fahrenheit mode. And let's go ahead and crank that thing up. To full hundred degrees. Let that thing heat up. All right, boom. And four hundred, four hundred, four hundred one, four hundred. Can we get? Can we? Can we get it even four hundred? Let's leave it three ninety nine. That's good. Three ninety nine is good. Three ninety nine is good. All right. And wait, what just happened? What just happened? Okay, that's good. Um, okay, it's heating up. Okay, so now let's put it on 60 seconds. When I press mode, it went back to what it actually is right now, and it's heating up. That's what happened. Okay. All right, 60 seconds. All right, we're good to go. Let's let this thing heat up. Fahrenheit 60. S 60 seconds, degrees, and you got the seconds, you got the time, you got the temp, everything's good. Let's let this thing heat up. Let's have a look at this gadgetry while this thing heats up. You got the slide out drawer right here, ever so smooth handle down below right here. You got the design, the platen is nice and separated from the body. And boom, got the auto open, auto close feature. You got the emergency handle situation right here on the side. Boom, make sure that's out so when we start it does what it's supposed to do. And, um, is that how you do it? Yeah, it's a little scary. Alright, and um, yeah, everything is good on this. I like it so far. Um, it's on wheels like all my presses are. We like this thing. Already in the unboxing video of the Walla Press Pro, I've already got some interesting comments about it. For the most part, everybody's excited, but some people are like, oh, I wouldn't do this or I wouldn't do that. It wasn't nothing too negative, but one thing to take in, guys, there's one thing that consistently happens when something new comes out, right? We're human. It's human nature. <laughs> it's human nature to, like, not like change. We don't like change. We're like habitual creatures we do things by habit and when something new comes about everybody rejects it in the comments am i right or wrong people don't like it until like every, you know somebody or something happens and then everybody jumps on a bandwagon same thing with the recalling machine same thing with you know a new cable service or a new type of service or a new a new person that pops up in the group you don't like them until you find out oh they're cool or you know until they do something you like or something like that this is the same thing same thing it's no different i don't expect any different but just keep that in mind while you guys are formulating an opinion it's natural it's natural to what's that I don't like that. That's different. We don't let... It's natural, right? Um, some people are like that with products. Or better yet, some people in the YouTube videos, some companies implant people in the comment section to talk negatively because that's just part of their thing, their marketing. I don't get it. Um, if it were me and I had a company, I would spend more time um, marketing my products and stuff like that as opposed to going in your competitor's uh, uh, affiliates comments to write negative stuff it, it, it's it's weird but I've learned so much in this industry and in, um, promoting different products and showing different products to you guys it's just hilarious but pretty much like you know I, I don't know it, it, it's it's weird but yeah it's new 
give it a chance. We're going to see what works and what doesn't work. Everything's not perfect, but so far, I don't know. We haven't even pressed anything with it. This is our first thing pressing and already, like, I don't know if I would use that to do all over sublimation because the temperature is all over. <sighs> Guys, we're going to do a video on different heat presses. The temperature is always all over the place on all these heat presses. <laughs> like, there's... Prove me wrong. That's what I got to say. You guys know that I'm Mr. Prove me wrong. I'm Mr. Show you. Other people just talk. But, you know, prove me wrong. Prove me. That's all I'm saying. Let me see a video with one heat press where somebody shoots it in all four corners and then in the middle. And it, it reads out the same temperature every, every time. You'll never find that video. It doesn't exist. So, yeah. Uh, anyway. Let's press. I think we should be 400 degrees now. Let, let, let's press this thing up. Alright y'all, you see it, you see it. We got 399 degrees. We're all set up for our very, 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 very first press on the Walla Pro. Alright, we are going to go ahead and place our butcher paper on the bottom of the platen right here. Let me just angle the camera so you guys can get all this exclusiveness right here. And we got our boom, our design right here, guys. We're going to press directly onto it. Another sheet of small little butcher paper right here to protect it. And we might have too much pressure. Let's go ahead and check it out right here. I'm excited, guys. Our first press with the Walla Pro. Let's go. Let's go ahead and lock this thing down. Boom, 60 seconds. And with the magic of editing, 60 seconds will be over at one, two, three. All right, maybe not quite over, but you know, you get the idea. All right, boom, it's done. All right, so let's uh, pull this out, and this is in fact a look how far that thing comes out. Look, look, just just look how far it comes out. Look, I got it slid out all the way, and look, boom. Look at all that platen available still. Oh man, how do I open this up? Uh, how do I do this so it can come up and it doesn't spend another sixty seconds? Houston, we have a problem. Can't figure this out here. Do I really have to go and hold another 60 seconds? Really? Can I just put that down? Okay, yeah. Okay, so, okay. So, in order to get that back up, okay, so say you go down like this. This is important. You can't just, you got to push that in and then pull it up manually. That disengages the magnet so if it's like this you can't pull it up you gotta push the button and then raise it up interesting all right that's that's important guys we, we need to know that all right so let's get a close-up on what we did let's get a close-up focus in real fast are we focused all right and let us see how it came out all right I might have to reduce the time a little bit if I don't like what I'm seeing, still hot, 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 hot. Woo, looks crispy to me. Woo, hot, 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 hot. Ah, uh, look at that. Got our name tag right there. Got our name tag. We could have made the name a little bit bigger, right? But overall, you see what we got here. Now, let's take it over to the table. Let's take it over to the table. You guys ever sublimate something and it's a little bit foggy? I don't know. Because I produced this in the uh, software, it seems like this is like crisp and chiseled. I think I can like reduce. Oh my gosh, it's crisp and chiseled and it's like glossy. I think I could even um, lower the temperature a little bit. But um, look how even and, and crisp and distinct the text look. I don't know if you guys can look at the text. It's like real crisp. Real crisp. I think that's the difference when I um do it in design space in a silhouette studio. I mean not silhouette studio. In a sawgrass creator studio. Look how crisp it is. The text is like real good, right? It looks real good. Alright, so let let's let's do the thing to it. Alright, let's make it a name tag now. All right, so we got this part, right? So we're going to boom. We're going to take the 3M. We're going to remove the 3M, right? 
from right here. If I can get it. Remove that sticky back, and now we're going to put that directly in the center right here. And now I believe, yeah, that thing's stuck. Once you put it down, if, if it's slanted, it's slanted. Like it's, it's like slightly slanted, so be careful when you put it down. But now we have a name tag because this part snaps onto that part. And let's do it. Let's put it on. Drop this in here, like so, and just put that on there. Like that. Move this around by just pushing the. Uh, you can move it around by just pushing the um, the magnet. Move it around exactly where you want it to be. I like this. It's adjustable. Easily adjustable. Put it all the way up here next to the A Dub Productions. Why don't we do that? A little bit higher. So that just snap that on there. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Got a little badge. If you have like a chicken place, you can put a little chicken up there and stuff. Like I don't know, whatever. Like, <laughs> guys, why am I so excited? <laughs> it does not take a lot to get me excited, does it? This is pretty cool. I like this. I like new stuff. I like when stuff is easy and stuff works out. And this just works out and it just like it's something that you guys can put in your stores and sell and like it's it's I mean it speaks for itself it's a name tag every time you can produce something in your house by yourself you're one step closer to being more successful to that business being more successful and I guess that's why I'm so excited I, mean, I, I always get excited about possibility and this is like this is awesome like name tags like you're like name tags make you like make your business more legit it legitifies your business right so what do you guys think hello Alan Wade how can I help you <laughs> right like hello how can I help you? See my name? Like, a Dub Productions. Official, right? Look at that. Look, look, look. look. Come here, come here. Hey. Hey, you see my name tag? You see my name? Anytime you see a name tag, you know a business is official. Like, this is a real business. This is not make-believe. This is not pretend. You see the name tag. I work here. You see that. I have fun making this video, man. You see the name tag. It's official. A Dub Productions. It's just official. It just gets more. How? How? How more official can you get? You're official, and then you get official alert, and you get official list, then you get official arrest. Right? This is awesome. Like, I, I, I think this is awesome. I think it's dope. Um, it's something that like you can pitch to a professional business that doesn't have them, and they could be like, oh well, why don't we think of that? Or they might not have um, had a, a way to make them, so you can make them for them and sell them. I don't know, ten dollars per person or whatever, and just. Get a batch of orders. You can put a car in the background or something if it's if it's like a car company. I don't know. It's all types of cool stuff that you could do to make some extra cash, guys, to supplement that income and make that business go boom, 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 boom. Heat transport house links down below. Amazon links down below. And if you guys like this stuff and you want more ideas of how you can make more money then hit me up man like hit that like button subscribe to the channel tune in share these videos with your friends look that thing is not going anywhere that name tag's not moving anywhere <laughs> alright guys that's it guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram Adub Productions on Instagram Adub Productions on Facebook and I'll see you guys on the next video it's your boy peace turn up that it up while I listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best baby